Welcome to the Malaria Med Design Tool. This is where you build your design. On the left, you'll see a menu for day one. It lists the type of drug, the dose, and the cost. Once you select a drug type and dose for day one, you can continue to add more days to your malaria treatment. On the right, you'll see a diagram of your malaria treatment updating as you build it. Below the diagram, you can see the design cost for 1,000 treatments. The cost will update if you remove a day or change the drugs in your treatment. To modify the treatment, you can also open the menu by selecting the pill on the diagram. Let's add two more days to our treatment. Finally, you can select the test button to see your treatment results. First, let's look at your design details. Here we can see a blister pack of the pills you included in your malaria treatment. This also summarizes the drug types and dose sizes used for each day. Now let's look at the test results. You have results for each of your project criteria. You can see the percentage of the parasite population with high resistance to each drug, A, B, and C, the total parasite population. This describes how the size of the population changed from year zero to year 10. The total cost for 1,000 treatments and patient side effects, none, mild, moderate, and severe. The face represents how most patients feel while taking the malaria treatment drugs. To the left of the test results, we have three histograms that will help you analyze your design. All three graphs show results for the same population of parasites. Each graph shows the population's resistance to a different drug, drug A, drug B, and drug C. On these histograms, the x-axis shows three different traits for resistance to each drug, none, some, and high. The y-axis shows the number of parasites that have each trait. Right now, these graphs show the final distribution of traits for the malaria parasite population after 10 years of using this treatment. If you use the time slider, you can see how the population has changed over time. To help you interpret these histograms, you can show or hide the percentage of the population that each bar represents. Note that the parasite population started with 20% of the population having high resistance to drug B, but by year 10, the percentage of the population with high resistance increased to 24%. The final percentage is what matters for your designs. When you are done analyzing, you can always start over or you can return to the design screen to modify your design by selecting Edit. If you have any more questions about how to use the Malaria Med design tool, ask your internship coordinator. Good luck.